I always wanted to ask you about your impression of Jerry Lewis. I I think it's the ultimate goof on Jerry Lewis. I think it's the ultimate, like, you know, the, the sort of you commenting on the show business phoniness and then also commenting on uh, that he's brilliant. But but it, it really is a, a, a sarcasm like it's a deep cut. But you've said it's an homage to Jerry. Well, I think I, 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 I don't buy that. I don't think you buy that. <laughs> I'm gonna, then what are you gonna? What's, the, what's your question? Question is: Is that an homage to Jerry Lewis, or are you goofing on Jerry Lewis? This is what I think. I think that these things that you do, these caricatures that you do on shows like SNL or whatever, are like a Hirschfeld sketch. Right. And Hirschfeld would like, you know, draw someone and he'd make my ears big, and he wasn't trying to insult me. Uh, he was just trying to say this is a caricature of this person. That's a good. I think the mistake that people do when they can do impersonations of people is that you've got to celebrate everything about them. Right. You've got to show... So the first piece I did with Jerry Lewis was Jerry Lewis live at the Champs-Élysées. <laughs> yeah. uh, Martin Scorsese's Jerry Lewis. And uh, the opening is him, Dan Del- yeah, and he's running around like a monkey. And um, I wanted to make sure that, it, that you would actually laugh at me doing Jerry, but just basically ripping off Jerry. Right. In other words, Jerry's getting a laugh. Right, right. And then later on, if I want to do, you know... Telethon Jerry. Yeah. You know, they're afraid of a f- perfectionist. And if uh, Jerry Lewis ain't going to get a distribution deal, this because of some the 12-year-old who's head of the studio this week, you know. <laughs> and I'd always have a lozenge in my mouth. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> You know. Were you fascinated by Jerry and Dean and all their... Well, you know, Jerry yeah. was a huge, huge uh, comedic influence. I loved the did, did you, insanity of Jerry. Have you ever met him? Oh, yeah. And was he, did he, was he aware that you do an impression of him? He, you know, in 1991 or something, uh, 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 Jeffrey Katzenberg, because I had made movies at Disney, said, you know, we're going to release the Martin Lewis Colgate Hour tapes, and we'd love to have you interview Jerry, and we'll just cut them in. And I thought, I had never met Jerry. I thought, ooh, what if he, you know. Because yeah, right. I had he... also done this uh, piece, um, Bergman, Jer- uh, Ingmar Bergman and Jerry Lewis in Scenes from an Idiot's Marriage. <laughs> and uh, I kind of thought, well, I don't know. And he couldn't have been nicer. nicer. You know, I've said a lot of weird things about Jerry. Do you know the other day I got the loveliest letter? I haven't even told Robin this. I got the loveliest letter from Jerry Lewis. You yeah. did mention that Jerry had I written did. you. Yeah, I yeah. didn't think yeah. I had discussed Jerry Lewis with yeah. is a comedic genius who's the f- a funny, funny, funny guy who knows it all. And but they, he but knows... They don't come who, out, but they don't come out with comments like, uh, I don't think women are funny. You know what I mean? And uh, that's always... You know, I interviewed him for that. I was there. Oh, oh is, that, is that how that all came about? And I... My personal take was he was trying to be just funny. You thought it was right. a joke. He was yeah. making... And I kept saying, Jerry, we were almost on, off the stage. <laughs> I said, Jerry, this is like the defiant ones. Come on, Joker! We were just... We were almost... You almost got off the stage. Because it had been such a triumph for him. It was at the Aspen Comedy Festival. Uh-huh. Right. And, uh, and then everyone just picked up this one comment. And I said, what about Lucy? Never made me laugh. <laughs> well, that's not true. He, he, he was joking about that. Uh-huh. But then on the news, it just showed Lucy eating chocolates. Jerry Lewis doesn't find her funny. <laughs> Nothing you know. funny about her. Right. Well, the book, you got to get this book. It's uh, Martin.